It's been a while since my last little mini review. Because I am trying to find the closest thing to what we had at Wii Sports. The fancy motion controls. I mean, it's a new era, right? So, the Switch was basically built for this kind of thing. Come down bowling. I've heard that this kind of had the motion controls. So, let's check it out. Genuine 3D bowling, where you swing the Joy-Con controller to bowl. I mean, it looks alright, but those buttons just seem kind of confusing to me. Like, what? The one we're reviewing. It's not as awkward as this. I'm sure this game is great and all, but it is a far better game than this disaster. But what we're viewing today is 10, is strike 10 pin bowling. It is $9.99 and look at that, huh? Pick a ball, toggle to a, uh, you know. And you can even play like that. It does do motion controls However, it does not do pro control. Now, on to the review. So what we have here is classic 10 frames. And this is the classic one game, but there's, okay, it's, it's three games before the whole game ends. And this is just a teaser option because it did come with the demo and I bought the whole thing. Also a demo. Uh spares. Kingpin minigame. Take out the white pin, leave the red. Kingpin seven. Mega lame. Now this, I was kind of disappointed with, but I'll show you that later. Duck pins. Small balls, short pins, three balls of frame. These, I really like because they're they're really fun. By explosive pins, it means when you throw your ball, it gives the pins greater momentum. So, you could get a strike if you threw hard enough. And this, this one is great. Because sometimes you can get a chance of knocking or rolling your ball into a knockdown pin and the pin since it's a candle pin it'll it'll spin and probably hit the pin that you want to knock down so let's go through all game types classic 10 yes up to four players player one <clears throat> Look, you can even choose your ball.
all this, all these balls are, you don't have to unlock anything. They're all there from the get-go, which is nice. Like me, you could just sit down and just, you know, flick of the wrist or whatever. But this is cool and funny at the same time. You don't have to point it at the dock. You just have to point it at the screen. Hold X. See, I'm actually moving my arm. And if you twist the Joy-Cons, Joy-Con that you're holding. It'll actually go left or right, which is awesome. And you could you can move it with these. You can move it with the joystick and press the B button to <coughs> aim, essentially. What's nice about this is if you stand up and you're pointing at the screen, you can stand backwards and like not actually look at the screen. It'll still register. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was I was facing away from the TV. But yes, you hold it. You hold it with X. You swing, you hold X the entire time, but when you swing, you just swing and then let go with the right trigger. With the one player game, it's just you. But I think one player will always be the right Joy Con, while player number two is the left Joy Con. And if you have four players, it'll go right Joy Con, left Joy Con, right Joy Con, left Joy Con. Because there's four Joy Cons. And unlike the other game, we can actually pause it, restart, or exit. <clears throat> like I said, this is three games before the game actually ends. Let's try to hit some spares, shall we? Clear all the frames, leave no pins standing. If you run out of five balls, I think it gives you the options to try again, but only for a limited time. Like, you'll get more balls. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oops. 
sometimes the sensors can be a little weird and even if you're pointing at the screen it won't register so you just have to let go of the X and then point it again at the screen. Game over. No balls left. Get more balls. Yes. How did that not knock the other one down? I think you can only uh, continue twice. So, 15 balls overall before you can't continue more missing like I do. What? That one had a lot of speed though. Come on. Okay, 20 balls. New record. Ooh, let's try a game of splits. <laughs> yes. I stink at splits. I think I do a little better with spares, but that depends on the pins. I am killing this hamster for no reason. Hit the march, you! That was a game of splits! Now for Kingpin! getting to four. I thought it was the classic all the pins on one huge lane but I was sorely mistaken. It's it's a gradual add up to 200 pins. Pin bowling. Ah, one of my favorites. So with the normal ball and the normal sized pins, you got the normal physics. This one, however, the physics are a lot more fun. Same controls. Just uh, <laughs> they go a lot faster and further. Y'all see that? I almost had a strike. The rubber band duck pin. That is equally as fun. Because with the rubber band on there. The pins have a higher chance of uh well, exploding. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, that was great. Now then, candle pit. You still use the tiny balls. And it, it's harder to knock down. You can see that pin right there that fell down in the back. Aim for that pin. And it has a chance to knock it like that, which is which is great. And that ladies and gentlemen is 10 pin bowling. Strike 10 pin bowling. So if you get it, tell me what you think in the comments. It is a lot better than the bowling game I reviewed before. And it has actual motion controls! This, this I like. It is a nice replacement for Wii Bowling, until we hope that Nintendo will inevitably put Wii games on the Switch because it has better motion controls now. Not just Wii Sports, Wii games in general. Alright, thanks for hanging around. I'll see you later.